Hello friends! I am outside today to safely do some bleach dyeing, which I know I have probably missed this trend by many months, but I didn't have the chance to do it while I was planning my wedding. Now is my time to do it because I've really, really been wanting to try it. I've been seeing the coolest ideas online and I really want to try some of them. So I hope uh, this is still interesting to you. So I have three things that I want to bleach dye. One is a handmade PJ set. I have a video on that. Another is a thrifted pair of these cool kind of like rust red vintage jeans that I thrifted. And then the last is a very, very old salty dog crew neck. A little bit out of style, but it is one of my favorite comfiest sweatshirts. So I thought it would kind of make it a little bit interesting and bleach dye it. Okay, the first I'm gonna do is my PJ set. And I think I'm gonna just do the like crinkle method. I have so many ideas, but let's get started on this one because it's definitely the easiest you could do it too because it's so simple to do. Okay, this one is so easy. You literally cannot mess it up if you do mess it up. So you literally just take your garment. I'm going to take my shirt here and just crumple it up in a ball. And then I have my package of rubber bands from the dollar store. You just wrap a bunch of them around it. Real tightly. So it looks like this. And then I'm gonna do the same with my adorable shorts. Okay. Okay, so I have my two little knots here and I'm actually gonna do this one in my bathtub. Okay, so literally all I'm gonna do is take this cup of bleach, which is like 75% bleach, 25% water. So all I'm gonna do is literally just pour it on and just kind of like splash different parts each side. That's good enough for me. And then I'll wait till it changes color a little bit and then I will throw them in the washer. Okay, I took my PJs outside, so I'm gonna try and undo them now and see if it worked. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the light pink color that it turned. All right, happy with that. Nice. I like these. Ooh, that's so fun. I actually ended up throwing some straight bleach on these because I didn't see the color turning that much, so I just like splashed some on there. So I think that's why most of it kind of turned lighter, but I like that. I am gonna throw those in the wash when I'm done with everything else. Now on to the next one. The next ones that I'm gonna do, which I'm so excited about, I've been wanting to bleach these pants for such a long time. I have two ideas that I need to choose between. Either these Egg House Lotta pants, I'm gonna try and recreate that, which I think will be very, very hard to do. Or I saw this idea on Instagram and I loved it. And I'm a huge fan of both and I don't know which one to pick. I'm thinking I should pick the swirly ones. It will be much easier to do and I don't want to mess up these pants because they fit me really nicely. It is decided I'm going to do the swirl on these red pants here. I'm excited to show you how I do this because this is actually kind of the method that I used on some of the swoveralls that I upcycled for the swoveralls project if you guys saw anything about that. So let's go. All right, so I've got my tarp down here and my jeans laid out flat and then I'm going to use a solution of pure bleach and basically what I'm going to use is just a foam paintbrush and this is how I created the swoveralls. I just kind of dip the tip of the foam brush into the bleach and paint it right on. It is as simple as it sounds. So that's what I'm gonna try and do for these.
next item up to bleach dye is the Salty Duck sweatshirt. So old, so comfortable. I don't want to give it away. I thrifted it when I was in high school. Like I, this sweatshirt is the best and I just don't want to give it up. What technique to use on it? I don't know. I don't really want to do the really original like twist in the middle circle type of pattern, but I don't know. I can't think of any other ideas. Yeah. How should I? How, how should I bleach dye this sweatshirt? Just the dog. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Seriously, help me figure it out because I don't. I don't really want to do just the regular like spiral. Do you have any ideas? Why are you putting me on the spot? Because you're really good at ideas. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Stony, what should I do? Okay, I've really been struggling at trying to think of a different way that I can bleach the sweatshirt that maybe you haven't seen before. Just something that's a little bit different, you know? So I saw this technique online and I really like how it looks. I don't know if it'll look good on a sweatshirt, but what the heck. I'm gonna try it. You need something to put in the middle. They're using popsicle sticks here, but obviously since my sweatshirt is so much bigger, I'm gonna try like find a stick or something or a piece of wood. We'll just see how this works. <laughs> okay, I did it. I found this plank of wood and we're gonna try and use it. <laughs> decide if I want to like completely submerge it in bleach or to just splash some bleach on it. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Well, we might have the first failure of the day on our hands. This is not changing color at all. And this has happened to me before when I bleach dyed stuff. Certain synthetic materials are not affected by bleach, which blows my mind, but this might be one of them. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and see if anything happens. Okay, I just took it out and it doesn't look like anything's happening. So I'm gonna throw it in the wash and see what happens. That's how they turned out. Unfortunately, the Salty Dog sweatshirt was a complete fail. Um, it did not bleach at all. <laughs> I should have read the tag before I bleached it because there was some polyester in it, I found out. So I think that's why it didn't take the bleach. That's a little tip for you. Some synthetic materials don't take bleach. But the other two turned out really well. I really like how the PJ set and the jeans turned out. I love the jeans. I just think they're so fun. I'm thinking about selling them. Would you guys be interested in buying them if I like sold them through my Instagram or something? Let me know. That would be super fun for me to create for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in my next video.